Hello everyone welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explore one of the most secretive and fascinating aircraft projects of the 21st century, the future of America's flying White House, the VC-25B, which will officially take on the role of Air Force One beginning in the years 2026 to 2027. This is not just an airplane, it is a symbol of American power, authority, and resilience, a flying fortress designed to keep the President of the United States safe, connected, and operational no matter what happens on the ground. For decades, the VC-25A, the modified Boeing 747-200, has carried U.S. Presidents across the globe. But as the world has changed, so too have the demands placed upon this aircraft. Security threats have evolved, technology has advanced, and efficiency has become more critical than ever. The VC-25B program was born to meet these new demands, and today we will look in detail at what makes it such a unique and extraordinary machine. When we start from the outside, the first thing that strikes you about the VC-25B is its sheer size. Based on the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental, the longest passenger aircraft ever built in the world, the VC-25B is noticeably larger than the outgoing VC-25A. The fuselage measures just over 250 feet in length, and its wingspan extends to more than 224 feet. This added length and wingspan not only give the aircraft a more imposing presence, but also allow for more internal space to house advanced communications equipment, living quarters, and security systems. Unlike a standard 747-8, the VC-25B is heavily modified, with structural reinforcements to withstand threats, classified systems integrated into the airframe, and numerous antennae and bulges on its exterior, giving it a distinctive silhouette. Even though it is derived from a commercial aircraft, it looks nothing like one once the modifications are completed. The engines that power the VC-25B are General Electric Jinx 2B67 turbofans, the same type used on the civilian 747-8. These engines are far more fuel efficient than the Pratt & Whitney engines used on the VC-25A, offering a 16% improvement in fuel burn, and they produce less noise and emissions. This not only gives the VC-25B a greater range, but also makes it more environmentally friendly, a feature not often associated with military aircraft. The range of the aircraft exceeds 7,800 nautical miles, meaning it can fly almost anywhere in the world without refueling, though in reality it is equipped with aerial refueling capability, giving it virtually unlimited range when supported by tanker aircraft. The aerial refueling system is concealed in the nose of the aircraft and allows the President to stay airborne during emergencies for as long as necessary, turning the VC-25B into a true command post that can remain above danger zones indefinitely. Looking at the tail, the VC-25B incorporates a redesigned empennage compared to its commercial cousin. It is reinforced to house specialized communications and defensive countermeasure systems. Along the wings, subtle fairings hide additional equipment, and under the fuselage you can find ports for advanced sensors and jamming devices. The undercarriage is strengthened to handle the added weight of all the modifications, and the landing gear has been redesigned with durability in mind, ensuring safe operations no matter the destination. Even the paint scheme of the aircraft has been a matter of public discussion. The traditional light blue and white livery associated with Air Force One will be retained, but updated with modern tones and detailing. It is simple yet iconic, designed to be immediately recognizable around the world as a symbol of the American presidency. Moving inside, the interior of the VC-25B is where the transformation from a commercial airliner to a flying White House becomes most evident. While many details are classified for security reasons, 
we know that the layout is designed to provide comfort, functionality, and security for the President and his staff. The forward section of the aircraft is dedicated to the President, featuring a private suite with sleeping quarters, a lavatory, and a personal office. Behind this lies a conference room equipped with secure communications technology, where the President can hold meetings with senior staff or speak directly with world leaders while in flight. A medical suite is also included, capable of functioning as a small hospital or operating room in emergencies, ensuring that the President is never without immediate medical support. Further back, areas are designated for the First Lady or other accompanying family members, senior advisors, and White House staff. The press corps travels in another section, and security personnel, including Secret Service agents, occupy dedicated spaces throughout the aircraft. The crew has their own rest areas, and military aides responsible for critical tasks such as handling the nuclear football are always on board. Despite being larger than the VC-25A, space is still at a premium, so every part of the interior is carefully designed for efficiency and functionality rather than luxury. This is not a flying palace, but a working office and command center in the sky. Performance is one of the most impressive aspects of the VC-25B. The Jinx engines not only provide more efficiency, but also deliver greater thrust than the older VC-25A. With a cruising speed of Mach 0.855, or roughly 650 miles per hour, the aircraft is capable of keeping pace with modern long-haul airliners, but with far greater range and endurance thanks to its modifications. The avionics are completely updated, replacing decades-old systems with state-of-the-art digital cockpits. The pilots flying the VC-25B are drawn from the United States Air Force's elite crews, trained extensively to handle the complex systems and emergency protocols of this unique aircraft. The aircraft is designed to operate independently of ground-based navigation and communication systems if necessary, using satellite-based links that are hardened against jamming and interception. Safety and security are at the heart of the VC-25B-S mission. Beyond its structural reinforcements, the aircraft is equipped with some of the most advanced defensive systems ever installed on a non-combat aircraft. These include electronic countermeasures that can jam or mislead enemy radar, flares and lasers to defeat incoming heat-seeking missiles, and radar warning receivers to detect threats long before they become dangerous. The aircraft's wiring and electronic systems are shielded against the effects of electromagnetic pulses, meaning that in the event of a nuclear detonation or cyber attack, the systems would continue to function. The VC-25B is, in essence, hardened against scenarios that would render other aircraft useless. Its communications suite is perhaps its most vital feature, giving the President secure voice, video, and data links to military leaders, intelligence agencies, and allies around the globe. In times of crisis, the VC-25B allows the President to command American forces from anywhere on Earth, making it a true airborne command post. What makes the VC-25B unique compared to any other government aircraft is the combination of symbolism and functionality it carries. There are plenty of secure military aircraft in the U.S. fleet, but none that carry the same recognition and diplomatic weight as Air Force One. When this aircraft lands in another country, it sends a message of power and presence before a single word is spoken. The VC-25B builds on that legacy, offering not only an improved platform for communication and defense, but also an aircraft designed to last decades into the future. With modern materials, efficient engines, and upgraded systems, it will serve presidents well into the middle of the 21st century, ensuring continuity of American power projection. The cost of the program has been a subject of debate. Initially estimated at $3.9 billion for two aircraft, 
the final price tag is expected to exceed 5 billion once development, testing, and additional modifications are included. Some critics have argued that the cost is excessive, but defenders point out that the unique requirements of the role justify the investment. After all, no other country's leader travels with an aircraft as advanced as Air Force One. The investment is not only in the safety of the president, but also in the assurance that the United States government can continue functioning no matter what crisis may unfold. Looking at the VC-25B in comparison to its predecessor, the differences are significant. The VC-25A has served faithfully for over three decades, but its age has shown in terms of maintenance costs, outdated systems, and limited efficiency. The VC-25B, with its longer range, modern avionics, and superior communications, is a leap forward in every respect. It is quieter, more fuel efficient, more reliable, and far more capable of handling the complex threats of today's world. This transition is not just about replacing an old aircraft, but about preparing the US presidency for the challenges of tomorrow. In conclusion, the VC-25B is more than just a new airplane. It is a flying symbol of American strength and resilience, designed to ensure that no matter where the president travels, he or she will be protected, connected, and able to lead. From its massive airframe to its hardened systems, from its modern engines to its secure interior, every element has been engineered for one purpose, to keep the American presidency airborne and effective under any circumstances. As it enters service in 2026 or 2027, the VC-25B will take its place as the most advanced presidential aircraft in history, carrying forward the legacy of Air Force One into a new era. It represents not just the pinnacle of aviation engineering, but also the enduring importance of leadership and continuity.